Lighting your way, this is Cone Valley Radio. I keep hearing this uh, this phrase, Moonraking Festival, uh, around a lot. So can someone tell me what the Moonraking Festival is all about? Like we do these really nice lanterns and bring them all down Slathwell. And then, like, they just... It's really nice, like, they take it all round. Well, Moonraking is really a lovely festival, and over the last few years I have I've really enjoyed all the aspects of it. Um, in fact, I get a bit excited about it because it's just really great fun having lots of people around and people, in, people being involved in creative activities. school we've been doing something special for moonraking, making a giant rocket lantern. We in our school we'll believe in, in the hall making a rocket lantern for the moonraking festival. Out of willow and bamboo and sh- um, sticky in the moon, in the moon, in the moon there was a man lived in the moon and his name was Aiken Drum. Ready? And he played upon a ladle, a ladle, a ladle. He played upon a ladle. The Moonraking Festival this year is we're running a radio station. And we shall be broadcasting on I think that um, there's lots of different aspects of radio. There's the music, there's young people, there's the community, there's going out meeting people, learning about technology. Uh, being together in a group and meeting new people and having lots of fun. Um, it just sounds to me like a really enjoyable activity. Well, the reason why I wanted to get involved in the radio was because we heard it in the school notices and we thought it would be a good idea to like come and see what it we're all about, really. Because we need some good Yorkshire accents on radio. Um, I think it's like, because there's like a bit of bad press for like younger people now, so it's like... Like, sort of showing that we're not, like, all bad. It's when I have, like, fun and do and interview a few people and just have fun with friends, really, and go on air and have a laugh and stuff and try to make other people laugh and, and just play some music and and we need to hear what some of the locals have to say as well like old people eating the fish and chips on side and bike canal <laughs> and birds singing and all that kind of stuff <laughs> one small step for man one giant leap for Cone Valley This is Cone Valley Radio. Hi, I'm Ruby and I'm here in Cone Valley with... Hello. I'm Katie. We're going to tell you all about Cone Valley Radio and what's, what it's all about. Hello, we're back with Cone Valley Radio. I'm Isaac and I'm here with Adrian and Jill. What makes this festival special and different, actually, to, you know, a spectacle that you might go and see is that local people are doing it. The people operating the lovely floating astronauts that we had were young people from the valley. 24 years and still glowing strong. Live moonraking coverage. Only on Cone Valley Radio. There was a moon and it came out of the canal and then it then it started flying and then there was some fireworks and now everyone's walking somewhere and I don't know where. What are you gonna do now? Um, follow everyone else. My name's Vicky Brooks and this is Alfie. Hello Alfie. Hello. We're actually from Home Firth, but we made the journey to Slathwaite and we, we actually did three workshops to make it. But it was the it's the best nine pounds we've ever spent. It was absolutely fantastic. We really enjoyed it. You always scream when we go under the tunnel. You always scream really, is it kind of a tradition? Well, I don't know, everyone does think it's funny, so <laughs> Okay, cool. Why everyone just okay. It? So uh, so here we go, I suppose.
voice of the people. It was probably Friday when me and Mead were doing all the interviews with the live music because it was just like really enjoyable like knowing that they've just played a song and then you can like ask them about it instead of like playing a track off an iPod or something and then like talking about it after instead of talking to the music. I thought the moon was made of cheese And I'll have a portion if you please I'll take it home that I shall So I'll rake the moon from the old canal I'll rake the moon from the old canal You can also leave a comment on the website and uh, Ruth's left a comment on the website I just want to say a big thank you to all the people who have been involved with Combe Valley Radio those who made it possible and all the contributors who made it so good to listen to. It would be really fantastic to see this grow and becoming something bigger. Let's hope that we have more of this soon. It's been such a great opportunity for people of all ages to get involved with something creative and fun. And I know that so many people have really enjoyed being involved and got a lot out of it. Thanks again. And thank you, Ruth. Um, I'm Sky Burton and I'm here with my mother, Jill Bond. Hi. <laughs> And we're rounding off Colm Valley Radio's first um, day of broadcasting, which has been very exciting. Yeah, we've been listening to it down, so it's been absolutely fantastic hearing everybody come on and uh, do their little shows. Very exciting for moonmaking this year. Putting the glow back into a winter of snow, this is Colm Valley Radio. And it's good to be home. From time to time. What can we do to improve these places? What can we do to make them more economically active? What can we do to make them attractive places for people to live in and people to work in? Well, that's the, that's the thing about the Corn Valley. It already is a beautiful place. What is being sp spoiled by a few grot places, rather than a grotty place, what has some beautiful places. We have a head start down this valley on most areas of Britain. And I don't think that's being biased. I think I that's being biased. It's because I've discovered recently that Marsden has got its very own James Bond. Um, <laughs> he was uh, the Reverend James Bond from 1846. He's uh, buried underneath our car park and he was of unique character, <laughs> a famous healer, and apparently he was fabulous. So this is for him. Dance on down beside the rippling moon Dance around, dance on down beside the rippling. A fantastic success by all accounts. I was chatting to a, one of the guys before we started, and he's uh, told me that there's been over a thousand listeners over the just over the few days that uh, we've been broadcasting. Up, up till this morning, it was 1,136 yeah. listeners. And there still, still counts. And that's something we'd like to see carry on for the other festivals we've got over the valley. You know, we've got um, jazz and other things. I think it'd be wonderful to have this for those as well. Yeah, yeah it'd be a great facility to develop. Absolutely. It, to join those and things. we've also had a message from Laurie. Um, Laurie B, all right, guys, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. All right. <laughs> Sorry couldn't come down today. I had family duties and Sam is in Halifax. Nice one. Anyway, guys, it's been an awesome experience. Definitely should keep going. Peace. All right, Laurie. Your festival, your community, your station. This is Kern Valley Radio. I came to this world with nothing. Yeah, I loved it. It was uh, really exciting. It's always been a bit of a, um, a dream or a passion for me to be on the radio. But when I was younger, I used to do little radio shows with my friends. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout all the planning and everything, it, it, it's been really fun to do, like thinking up all the ideas of what we want to do and stuff like that. And, and as we got to... As we got going, it got kind of stressful, but then back to normal again as we got better. It's just brilliant to see him sitting there, you know, moving the buttons and doing the stuff. I think that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, just to let the listeners know, Ellis is at the controls right now. He's running the show. So, Has, it, has he also learned that he's got all the faders up, apart from the one he needs to? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the iPod. So push that one up, and, oh, music comes out. We love it. 
you've been listening to it through the over the last few days, Joe? Oh yes, and I've been yeah. texted in. Yes, it's been brilliant, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Oh, do, do you think it's got a, a there's a future for, for the thing in the as yeah. we go forward? Yeah, absolutely, and I I think because it involves so many people from from different age ranges, and what we've discussed has been quite diverse as well. Mm. Um, I, I just think it's got a real future, and if it's going to work, it will work in a place like this where there is so much community support. Yeah. But I think it's been I think it's been excellent. Yeah, I I, I really enjoyed it. I have to say, Gum Valley Radio. Proper philosophical.